Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. My wife Christina is running the video camera today. Hey y'all, sorry my gimbal's on the fritz, so I'm going to try not to be too shaky. Yeah, steady hand for a steady cam. <laughs> Alright, so today we're sitting in front of our latest and greatest creations, probably one of the most unique houses that we've built. And it has a pretty awesome exterior. It's got all this cedar on the on the outside, plus all this live edge cedar that runs along the bottom edge of the accent and along the bottom edge of the trailer, which is really cool. It's got this uh, eight foot by 10 foot balcony here. The, over, the house itself, the main floor of the house is 10 foot by 38 foot. Um, and then it also has a two foot bump out on the, on the rear, plus the eight foot balcony on the front, making the total length 48 feet in all, 10 foot wide by 48 feet. Uh, give or take and then uh, we've got these under eve lights that change colors and do different patterns so it's like pre-hung Christmas lights you can set them to do green and red you can set them to do fourth of July you can do red white and blue and uh, every color you can do Halloween you can do yeah lights for every yes every occasion white lights for yeah every day I think you can even do pink for it's a girl and oh really yeah. i mean they literally have every color blue for it for it's a boy so i'm gonna just show this live edge cedar a little bit and then we'll go yeah. inside did you tell everything about the it, except for the storage shed did you want to st show the storage shed if y'all want to it's actually it's outdoor a beautiful storage storage shed <laughs> it's got nice flooring the walls are finished still doing a little work on the plumbing back there but Everything else is really nice in there. <laughs> nice, lot, plenty of outdoor storage on this one. Chad was happy installing that. He said it's the nicest shed he's ever installed a that he's ever worked in. Water heater in <laughs> that we built anyway. All right, so check out the kitchen. So when you step in, there's a landing here. So we step down into the kitchen and this one has the quartz countertop upgrade. Uh, this has some nice veining in it. Looks really, really good. And I like the quartz. Uh, butcher block is our standard and that looks really great, but it's, it's it takes some maintenance for More that. More maintenance, yeah. Yeah, this is really low maintenance and looks really beautiful, feels really good. Got the farmhouse sink here with the pull down uh, antique brass. Uh, faucet. We have the reverse osmosis water here, which that removes 99.9% .9 of your impurities in your water. Um, and that's on top of the whole house filter, which removes five micron, you said? Yeah, five micron that removes the all the sediment and, and um, chlorine and some, some of the small, chlorine yeah. and some of the other but stuff. But that gets out the pharmaceuticals and everything that's in the water, city yeah. water anyway. Right. And then we've got the drawer dishwasher which is nice and deep there's plenty of room dishes i don't know how that goes i'm not sure either <laughs> <laughs> we got some bumblebees and then and the onyx honeycomb. stone tile onyx stone is that what it is uh-huh it's beautiful so it goes the backsplash goes all the way under that dining bar and then and the grout is a special grout. It has these little quartz crystals in it, so it's, it's, a it's sparkly. sparkly. And then we've got the four burner cooktop, the low profile microwave, the electric oven, and then we've got the upgraded fridge with the drawer feet freezers down below. It's a really nice uh, fridge, great for a fam whole family. So lots of windows, operable windows. We're missing our chandelier that's going to hang down here. We'll get that in the next couple of days. And we've got the Juliet balcony there. We're going to do the living room next. Sure. Or I guess dining bar first. Yeah, so this basically has two dining bars, one underneath the window and one on the kitchen side. And you can, seat, you can squeeze in six, seat four comfortably. The other yeah, space on the end, you could put somebody on the end there, mm -hmm. and then one more in the. Or get your TV trays out and sit over here. Plenty of room for a full size sofa. There's a whole other foot on the end of this sofa, and 
whole nother foot on that end so you could even do a sectional here if you wanted to. Um, and then the TV is mounted underneath here in the alcove so that, and it's at eye level. Oh, We've nice. even got strip lighting there to backlight the, the TV. We got storage under there. We've got the window seat here. This is some tile that we have going on in the bathroom. So we continued it out here. Yeah, a little accent piece. And then you got your window seat here. You can chill, read out, read a book, whatever. So this is your bump out. Every, we had an open house today and everybody said, why isn't there storage under that? Because it's a bump out. There's right. <laughs> air. <laughs> but there is a secret little hidey hole here. Pretty big. Yeah. Jim got in there. He built this cabinet and he got in all the way inside. Grown man. I don't know how he did it. He was it. fixing the latch <laughs> and he said he got all the way in there. He's quite the contortionist. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big space. He's about 5'10". Yep. Yeah. That's the, so that's the living that area. everything in the living area? These lights Oh yeah, it's got some really down. cool we lights. We gotta fix these. <laughs> Show them the lights. Even though they're upside down. Little odds and ends you got to take care of at the end of the build. Yeah. You want to go into the bathroom? Sounds good. I'll let you go first. So Why don't you talk about what's in the bathroom? Some of y'all will be familiar. The bathroom's pretty. We do the washer dryer uh, cove there, laundry cove, lighted mirror, nice deep drawers, nice cabinet that you. Do not hit your head on. We'll show you in just a second. We got a jetted tub. Hot tub. For the tiles. <laughs> <laughs> the tile's pretty, I think. And then we're, Peter's going to demonstrate. Everybody always says that with our this cabinet that that we that it sticks out too far, you're going to hit your head, but <laughs> it's not. It, it's... Are you sitting all the way on the seat? Oh, Should... well, let's see. Okay, there. I can even put my, I put my butt all the way back to the Don't. back. <laughs> but if I sit on it normally, it's, it's fine. <laughs> and then you can make it even a few inches uh, narrower if you want to, not sure. quite so deep. But. Yeah, we just do it a little deeper because it's easier to fit your towels into. Yeah. But Brian was saying we can maybe even recess it into the, into the wall, wall yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But even when it's not recessed, you don't hit your head. All right, so we didn't do the other bedroom yet, did we? Should we go back and do the other bedroom first? No, let's do the master. Okay. So this we're is, here. sorry, those pillows look sad. We, <laughs> we had <laughs> our open house <laughs> and this, we ran out of pillows. This is an air mattress just for staging, but the pillows look deflated. <laughs> <laughs> so, Queen size air mattress, so it's a king size bed platform. You can get yeah. There's plenty of room for a king size mattress here. Ten foot wide. Yeah. And we've got the cubby. yeah. We got little USB reading lights. Reading lights. I'm gonna show them the. Sorry, that was open when we walked out. So it's got a full hanging height. And then some side, and then a half hanging height side, and then uh, shelves. They can see that. Eight drawers. Bank of drawers. Eight drawers there. Four for, no, six for her, two for him. Some people, I just was talking to a lady today. She said her husband had more clothes than her. <laughs> however, you want to, however you want to do it. Here's our 80 square foot balcony. Juliana's waiting on us. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this is a nice area to hang out. We've got, a, got it covered. We got the lights going around. We got some lighting here. Got a uh, actual kitchen sink here uh, with the drain board. We've got the store, some storage space underneath. We got a wine fridge that it's separated so it has a beverage, a regular beverage side, and then your your wine fridge side. You can control the temperatures separately for those two. I'm gonna put spaces. produce on the other side, and the Vitamix is going here, and the coffee maker, so you can have your. Hey. Do morning your smoothie and your morning coffee, and then there's enough or room to do wine. some yoga. <laughs> you think that's such a funny joke? <laughs> 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 oh, 
All right, I think all we have left is the Jack and Jill bedroom, right? Yeah, let's go check it out. So plenty of space. We've got this little table and chairs and there's still tons of space to do some yoga up here in the morning. And then happy hour in the evening. It's all cherry inside, cedar on the outside, cherry on the inside. Yeah, the handrails, the trim around the windows and, and doors, the railing for the Juliet balcony, solid handcrafted cherry. So these lofts are even taller than the 6'4 that we normally uh, Yeah, I think have. they're about 6'5, six, maybe 6'6. Six, six. But you can fit a full-size bed or this is a twin. And then plenty of space over there on the Juliet balcony. We need a rug for that one. And then this is Jack and Jill. Juliana helps us design a lot of our features. And she said, "My, I don't want my brother to be able to look at me. So this is brother's side. And we still, we got a little more staging to do. But we got reading lights for both sides. This one can fit a full size bed too, correct, Peter? Yep, if both sides can fit a full size. And then our standard wardrobe that y'all have seen before. Is there anything else up here? These windows are nice. They open really, and they do have screens. This one just doesn't have the screen right this minute. All right, we got the double ceiling fan up there too. Oh yeah. This is a really nice upgrade to help the airflow, especially up in the loft areas. But we do have a mini split head on the other side of this wall. Yeah, this is a two head system. For the master. Is that everything, Christina? Maybe. Maybe. We probably left off a few things. You have to come out to <laughs> Fresno to see it. Yeah. We'll be in Fresno with this house November 3rd, 4th, and 5th for the Fresno Tiny Home Expo. Which is part of the Fresno Tiny Home Show. Or no, Fresno Home Shows. Right. And so come and see us if you're on the West Coast or if you just want to come see us. Just come out to Fresno. Out. Yeah. Go to the, they got all the national It's going to be a nice there. big show. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be great. Lots so we to hope to at. see you there. And I hope you like the video. Click like and subscribe if you do. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. The pricing info is in the video description. <laughs> all right, we love you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.